This month is Brain Injury Awareness Month. It's a time for all of us to better understand something that millions of Americans face each and every year. We sat down with a man from Perrysburg who admits he's lucky to be here after suffering his own brain injury. Kaylee Marantet has the story. Make sure everybody sign it. For 12 years, Anthony Knops has been a college professor teaching classes like this one, media ethics. They're good kids, you know, yeah. they work hard. A challenge of teaching future generations, but Anthony knows about challenges all too well. Flashback to July 2019, Anthony and his son were only about a mile from home. There was a, a car going coming towards us, this is a two lane road, uh, distracted driver. Uh, fumbling for, you know, whatever, uh, hit the curb, overcorrected, went into us. Looking at the car, you wouldn't think Anthony and his son walked away, but they did. He went about his normal life like nothing happened until... Roughly six, seven weeks after the accident, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't get changed. I couldn't function. And they take me right to St. V's. And within a few hours, I was on the table uh, being treated for a subdural hematoma. Also known as a type of brain bleed. Had I gone to bed that night, I wouldn't have gotten up. After six months of rehab, Anthony finally was able to remember how to wake up and make coffee, tie his shoes, things many of us take for granted. That's one thing about brain injuries is such a, a hidden thing. If you were walking down the street, you would know that I had a traumatic brain injury. Kevin Renard, the section head of neurosurgery at Toledo Hospital, says brain injuries could happen even from minor injuries. Problems arise because uh, uh, tissue damage could progress. You know, you could, per, for example, have uh, uh, swelling in the brain that continues over the course of several hours. And are likely to become more common this time of year. When the weather warms up and people are on their uh, motorcycles and, and, uh, and, and cars driving fast, the incidence of it uh, goes uh, up. And more than just warning people about brain injuries, the awareness of them is what Anthony says is equally important. I think there's there's still a stigma attached to it, where, you know, fair or unfair, oh, well, I'm not going to hire them because they have a, a brain injury. Well, if they had a broken arm, would you hire them? Oh, yeah. In an effort to help more people learn about it, he decided to write a children's book, My Daddy Has a Headache. When I, you know, sat down with my psychologist, uh, we talked about how hard it is to, te to tell kids what to do. You know, how do I take care of my dad who has a traumatic brain injury? What do I, what do I say? A chance to teach outside his classroom and take on new challenges. Every day is a day that I shouldn't have. And if you look at it that way, then it becomes a day that you try to do as much as you can with. Reporting in Adrian, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL 11.